I told them. So. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, then we had Quino and Satita Satyarana Satyat and Guke Kales Marata Hita that night. Do you want to sit here? Kemara Satyatu Sati. No, the girl is not Sati. Sati Tibicha Hita Turkey Kales Naru. Ah, Manasikar <laughs> 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 So that was for the like non return so everybody the last because well, everyone has mana, but only non uh, return uh, still has mana. Uh, I think mana wagi mana tina ite 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 so the first answer for the last one was you know the the concept. So Luca is going to come quickly. So he needs to like, go he, a little bit here and there and have a cup of tea and then Switch off. No, no, I, I told him. So, so I to ask what is taking So the real question is do we take negative terms? Do we look at them or do we look at Paramata Dhamma and they are eliminated? What is the exact mechanism? I don't like the Paramata Dhamma. <laughs> <laughs> because we so are always... The four elements are Paramata Dhamma. No, but you are just looking at your experience. Yes. No, 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 you're answering. Good. Okay. No, because, just, no, I just... Concern Lokan usually does not like if we put too many technical yeah, terms yeah. in that, it is getting like more confused. Okay. And well, we're just trying to get the conversation going. He will answer whatever you he are chooses. just trying to get it going. I always poke him, and sometimes he likes it, sometimes yeah, he doesn't yeah. like it. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 this is Karyota. <laughs> <laughs> Judas of Iscariot. Was your question answered yesterday? Yes. I, are you happy with um, the answer? One, or one, uh, yes, one, one, one moment. No, no, no. Then we have the people. If, uh, if uh, there, uh, there uh, the level of traffic is not high, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, anyway, the, the meditative person uh, has a um, fortunate uh, uh, reincarnation, uh, what do you mean a fortunate in reincarnation? It means that uh, 
Okay. Um, we'll be begin uh, meditation or not? It's possible that forget everything. Also, if we'll be born in a um, lucky situation, or ha can be happen that uh, anyway don't uh, begin to do meditation in the next life. So do parami continue from life to life. It's, I think it's, it's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. But you might also get off track. You might get off track. But yesterday, I didn't you always go off the same track because you were going to get off track. Even in Manaya, we will get off track. Not so after practice. Uh, so we don't know that. I'm very worried about that. You don't have to go to the so toilet. We don't know that. You could get off track, but you could come back on track. You could get off track, but you could come back on track in some other life. There. It's a jump step, yes. But no, we don't have an idea about what kind of body. Since because you have good like rebirth, you will likely get Tava Ting says one parents. of the really lowest like one, and they uh, say yeah. there you get some kind of likely. like sickness or but something no only when you are no about to pass away. So, so, like, if you go for vacation, you still can get caught on yeah. burnt skin, or you, anyway, you have, to go, you have to go <laughs> to the toilet anyway. So, if you get the Valoka, even these things are not there at all. So. No. Even Bhante Jatara was telling me there are some very high beings in Tavatimsa. You arrive in Tavatimsa and you see two directions. Go right to the party, go left to the meditation. Really? No, yeah, there is one monk, he died meditating when he wake up. He, he didn't know he was there, so they show him mirror and he gets disgusted. What am I doing with this? <laughs> Buddha just told him, just do what you did before, and then he continued practicing. Do something for a Dhammasaka. But <laughs> So, so I try to translate that uh, like a question that is a follow up from yesterday. Is it on now? Yes, it, 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 it has been. Yes. Oh, it has been all the time. Yes. Okay. So all this unnecessary. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> so the, uh, let's say su summarize. So the follow up from yesterday is if, especially if we practice now, if we get good rebirth like divine realm, are we going to continue practicing or not, or or what happens? Mm -hmm. So Rokam says that is also a good question, and the questions on the board are also good questions. Oh. Oh. So if you managed somehow to get to the divine realm, so as, as practitioners, so over there, there is also already a bunch of beings that are also practitioners and there are some beings that are actually people that have path knowledges, or like beings oh. with path knowledge. Mm. So, <clears throat> Uh, on the Friday charm thing, which is uh, the protection by groups, at the very uh, end it has Namo Satana Samma Sambuddhananti. I am like bowing down to the seven perfectly enlightened ones. So, why this is being said 
because uh, in the divine realms, uh, Alokamsas or divine realms uh, uh, of the sensual sphere and higher, there are uh, beings that uh, attain some uh, realizations uh, uh, from the Buddha that we pass see on, like Buddha Vipassi was like few Buddhas in the past, from, so from his time uh, some, some beings are still there. so the sutta says when somebody arises in the divine realm there might be a monk with psychic power there teaching dhamma to the divine beings there so while hearing that monk talking about dhamma this new being that has arisen there remembers the for, uh, practice that uh, it was doing in the life before and like is that like the practice starts happening again so there are like a number of them so last one is some other deva comes and says oh uh, so okay so in this example uh, the last of this uh, how it happens is uh, in this example is uh, John the newly born Deva is uh, wandering around the divine realm and meets uh, uh, David Young Deva that used to be David Young and this David Young Deva says oh oh. hey you you know you used to be John Preston when we were still in human realm and he said ah yes too we were all both of us practicing so like these two friends from the past like they meet oh. and uh, one of them remi reminds the whole thing and with that the, uh, the newly born uh, divine being starts uh, practicing again hmm. So is that remembering the So, so in the sutta, it, it, in the sutta, it actually says when this uh, deva is reminded about those things, uh, as uh, like this special distinction is attained, which is in other words of attaining a path knowledge. So oh, like, it does not have to even practice anything by just remembering those things. Uh, a path knowledge is or some kind of special distinction is produced in that. Uh, oh, so this is, but this is all about uh, beings that already practice those things. <laughs> Mm. Oh. So this is really Rokamsas for people that has really been established in practicing well while in human realm. People that do here and there some small wholesomeness and as a result arise in a divine realm, for them uh, these things don't happen like that. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's a big difference between people that here and there do some small, some wholesomeness and people that like, uh, like on purpose, uh, continuously try to develop good qualities. It's like two, two different, different kinds of people really. Mm so there is a number of people that have some kind of belief in karma vipaka it's like efficiency of good and bad deeds giving good and bad results 
So they may be uh, they they sp the kind of people that we talk about now they don't have like uh, strength or ability to do too much anything about that belief. But so here and there they might do something awesome. But uh, the belief in the efficiency of the good and bad actions bringing those results, that belief is quite strong. Hmm. So these people, <coughs> they end up in the divine realm, enjoy the holiday there, and then after that go or fall somewhere. So this sutta and the explanation is really about people that are like practitioners. You can just say practitioners. So practitioners, when they no. die, this is what is described in the sutta. So oh. So now people here, they have given up at least temporarily uh, their time, their wealth, uh, uh, the way they do things and other things. So, like, you are in, in different category to the people that uh, are like, uh, maybe something like, uh, like holiday Buddhists or something like that. Oh, <laughs> like, you, you, like, you have Christ, uh, like Easter Christians, so you may have like Vesak yeah. Buddhists that do once a year something. So, so the, like, people here are completely different stories. So. Then. Mm. So, 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 so especially like the foreigners, so now you had to like save quite a big amount of money and save quite a big amount of time to like safeguard it and only after that you you can come here to practice, so that's quite different situation. You are here to kind of uh, get, learn things or like, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can see, even realize things. <coughs> it's not just like a fashion or just like to like, uh, what to do, uh, let's do this in killing time is that in that way. You did not come here for that reason. Oh. That should be enough for that. Then it's don't they can have you know? Oh, and uh, the Mama Hengi, my mana, was ever Aramunu was saying Bavana to Pavichikan of Poland, Etivenava, Aramunu was saying so anyway, Lokasis, we, uh, let's start with the first thing is about sati, usually translated it as mindfulness, I will leave it as just as sati. Lokasis, as he explains more about what about sati, you might get the answer for the rest. So comes now saying there are only two mind concomitants that don't mix up uh, ever this uh, avidya or ignorance and that is sati and panya. Panya is usually translated as wisdom or experiential understanding. So only sati and wisdom never mix up with avidya or ignorance. Yeah. Other even like a, a kind of wholesome mind concomitants like uh, faith, sadda, faith of confidence and other like positive kind of food. So now the Yoniso Manasikara is like, if I understand correctly, is an umbrella term for 
not one moment. It's like it, no, no. It's like when you are practicing, and in in that practice you are paying attention, and sometimes you have sati. So then it's that is not just normal attention, but wise attention. So uh, on the occasions when there is sati, there is no, there are no defilement. Then me then body pranya kela ki me loh ki bahu na manusikari to sati ati la ugan na peke. There is the thing, uh, this is Lokohamdu, uh, idiosyncrasy or special thing that Lokohamdu says always. Uh, in the now uh, recent, in recent times, uh, many people explaining about meditation, they call this noting as mindfulness, but uh, uh, they think mindfulness is sati. So, Sati is not this like paying attention or noting. So mm -hmm. there is this like uh, um, <clears throat> misconcept, like uh, misconcept about these things or mistranslation. Mm -hmm. So then some uh, mosquito bit uh, the skin around Rokhandu's ear and he's uh, about to scratch it. Oh, then now it's on his arm, upper arm. Oh. So he knew at, at the, when it started itching, he knew it about the itching nature of that experience. So those, even Lokohamudru, those days, and even still now, it is usually uh, explain this way when you know about the itching nature, kind of noted with the mind or acknowledge it, kind of that is sati. Hmm. So now <clears throat> the word manasikara, uh, the root of the word is like mind doing, so mind functioning or something like that. And actually, so when you see mind functioning together with an object, it is manasikara or attention. Aim a a kriya vima ale natuva gati natuva o ekeka mama magika na sanya ada natuva kriya vima mama kala. So if that action or uh, experience happens without there being any holding on to that and conflicting or any kind of distortions of perception that uh, mix up the notion of I and my within that experience. So if it's free from those things, then that this uh, mind factor that is keeping the experience free from those, that is sati. So then wise attention is if uh, that itching is happening and maybe you are scratching but uh, uh, the part of the mind that is keeping the experience or the itching without holding on to and without conflicting is sati uh, and knowingly Knowing or knowingly doing things is this sampajanya translated usually as wise, at, uh, sorry, as a clear comprehension. So um, when these two things are there, we call that occasion as wise attention. So two things. <laughs> So when we say knowing, it's the kind of part of the mind that understands that this is happening. That's the clear comprehension and the one that keeps it without this uh, I and my and uh, conflicting and so on, that is Sati. So let's say we are offering arms or like giving something to somebody. 
So at that point, we are people are generally not noting that they are doing all these movements when they are uh, engaged in uh, generosity. But at that moment, the mind is also free from uh, like holding on to things and conflicting. So this quality is again sati, hedi or bhavana sati vene. This different level or quality, uh, is this kind of different kind of sati than the meditation sati, but in this wholesome activity of, uh, of offering something, even if you are not noting, uh, there are like sometimes you have mind free from like holding on to and conflicting these things. So which means that those mo on, <coughs> on those moments there is sati, kind of sati there. Oh. So Lokram says that this Paristansa means that uh, uh, in all wholesome acts there is Sati. So now in our case when we meditate, we have turned that towards the body. Or turn that towards uh, feelings or experiencing. So, so if if uh, the feelings or experiencings are contemplated or like observed in that special way, uh, uh, then that means there is sati. Or if if the, if the observing and knowing about the feelings is without attachment and craving, that means the anupassana is happening. So then, there are both good and nice and nasty things happening in the mind. So, knowing about those without again those extra things means there is sati. That is, but for this one, it's the anupassana or contemplation of serving the mind. Oh, so then uh, what we call a person uh, a being uh, uh, in her they have about three words that mean being so <clears throat> uh, living entity okay let's say so <laughs> so at some points in the practice as you continue noting continuously sometimes it uh, becomes obvious what this person or a human or being or living entity is really about so that's why you see and understand about the five aggregates or the elements or the sense basis so that so those occasions are the times when you like understand what, what this so-called being is about is when the dhammanupassana or the like contemplation of phenomena especially mentioned the five aggregates Sometimes you think this is so difficult, uh, this like battery if I give up. No, it's not. Uh, let's say if I give up. So this is the nature of the hindrances of the mind happening. So, 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 so some, but some people they get like taken in, you know, because they get tricked by the hindrances. So there are occasions in the practice where these hindrances are really uncovered. They like surface, they become very obvious, prominent in the practice. So then the 
the practitioner gets understanding of this kama chanda translated usually sensual desire or liking for kind of enjoying sensual experience works in this way how it works or maybe a bad attitude maybe jagger or it might be ill will so uh, now this thing called ill will this is the way how this actually comes together and how it happens or it what is ever did ఎవరు then some people they i think what he tries to explain they kind of put themselves in a kind of uh, kind of like state where they are free. they kind of like put themselves in a state where they don't experience them and lokam calls that you are just like enjoying eating chocolates so yeah. so, so so so, so it, it's a kind of a yeah, push the bad experiences and cover them up and they just stay kind of this a kind of blank blank stare or something a small smile happily even for a long time so lokam says now you have not spent this much money and time in order to come here to get that so you can do the same thing uh, at home you don't have to come uh, to such great this like to so great lengths to uh, just eat chocolate ఫైండ్ <laughs> 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 about the hindrances and then you can be removed from it. It's a new one. Anduna Gandhi and Gautta Bhavana Vartani. So then many people as as these hindrances start being prominent and obvious and as you are getting to the point where you start learning and understanding what the hindrances are about then many people <coughs> stop meditating. Adat Mahathya Kaya Dati Vaiti Madhama Ngiti Today yeah. somebody like that came to Lokham and said, told him about like describing this situation like that. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to go and say, I have to go and say, I have to go and say, I have to go and say, But... I have to say, I have to go and 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 say. So, so Lokham do knowing the character of the person, so this person is... i don't know this if just this person but there is this some people have this tendency to go to different different meditation centers and try out different different teachings it's like uh, <clears throat> something like meditation window shopping kind of thing so this he he was probably describing occasion when the hindrances were coming up so but lokam was recognizing the person and the situation actually did not tell him too much because we knew it is useless so he just tell, told him like how to stay without like just like pushing away the defilements and like uh, having a nice time uh, smiling happily and indulging in the chocolate eating <coughs> so other <coughs> <coughs> so other thing uh, for the reduction or suppression of the hindrances one needs this specific qualities of mind called spiritual faculties to grow in the mind or start working in the mind oh they do the main main amme dam కామచ్చంది విరుద్ధ పెట్ట తమై మే సద్దా 
so consists the opposing what is opposite <coughs> side of uh, sensual desire is sadha face of confidence vyapadi viruddha petada so the opposing side of ill will is uh, oh. virya or energy or mental effort janne vidita mega ad indiya dana vedende me new energy andula gandattone nati vindattone so for <coughs> you need to learn and that means also start uh, identifying uh, the five hindrances and together with that the opposing factor needs to start growing in the mind in that way you might achieve being removed from the hindrances oh then it is happy my bhavana karna kot podi podi ma pa sukan aram enwane pita 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 eva ta baile endone eva meni karan so as we practice we might in <coughs> Uh, experience uh, smaller or not so small uh, occasions of uh, discomfort or even pain on the bodily and mental level so this the mind it might be just the mind just won't settle down and seems to be dispersed so uh, local says there is no need to get like agitated or afraid of those things what you just need to do is note those things oh i didn't mean not me avidya out So if you do that, then you prevent ignorance from uh, like butting in the process. We don't give it space where it can start working. Avidya va again do kai samude jaga teri na teri. So now here ignorance uh, means also <coughs> here uh, ignorance is not understanding the dukkha and samudaya that is like let's say suffering and its origination or how the suffering comes comes together then the dukkha and samudaya there no got ha bhavana vatari but as was said before when you start realizing and understanding and experiencing the suffering and the origination of suffering many people give up meditating oh it then ekantama me ega kargat gurvarunge vardanne then this is not anybody's uh, fault or this is the not the teachers for that happens it was the dukkhat kan ganaka tawitya mari jindu so then they find this place where they can keep on uh, indulging themselves in chocolate eating and go there and have a last eating chocolates india and other no then yage dane dena ni it is sugar company the humble one dane so whatever wealth that person has is being moved like being acquired by the uh, chocolate company <laughs> then mega 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 ignorance <laughs> ignorance does not give space where it can start functioning and the hindrances are reduced then i told the level of pain no mama gela mage gela mage atma gela ganne pai gela so in the suttas in many places uh, the buddha says like uh, you should not take things as me my or myself oh mula mula told the role egra kiya ne ga ಮಾನ್ಯ ಮಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ದೇನು 
So within that, very strongly, the sense of me is there within the conceit. And then there is the sense of belonging to me or my my thing. Like the my, so the my is there in within craving tanha. Oh, mama my. And then the last one is this is the true me or this is myself. So this is sometimes called the like self view or, or the view. Mama, me atelier, no magi, mama, ma. So now this is something, like, but in English it doesn't work too much. So this self in this myself, that's why I say like my true self. So this my this self or myself is the combination of the I and my, and the like ma, ma. true like the true part or the having it as a combination is the view. Oh, mama gyanne manne, magi ke lagyanne tanav, mama mai ke lagyanne atme. Ah, atme. Oh, so, 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 correct, so, correct, correction. So, so this, uh, ma, this last thing means really like self. Oh, thank you. Me, karno tu ne kama vidhiwa the. So we live in uh, within these three things. Oh, karno tu ne the virud dekhe na the kino me sathi gya. Me karno tu na the kine ne kina the kina. So the one that is opposing those things is sati, and the one that is staying with those things is ignorance. Oh, it was a sati at all, a vidya on a key way, Kaivin. Sati at all, a vidya on a key way, hey, to hold. So that was kind of, if I understood correctly, that was this is the explanation how. Uh, Within sati, you cannot have these things. Oh, the happy, the sati and mukadde, it is the one. Sati and I give one a man, me, me, a vidya, and the two and the eight were given. So, this is like explanation why, no, it was explained where there is ignorance, there is no sati, or the other way around, and so this is the. Underlying principle why it is like that. Oh, so if one gets uh, like avoids this thing or uh, like escapes that. Oh, I don't think make him bear on arm. Make him bear on arm. So it's like. Uh, there are like occasions where one is safe from these, then that is the occasions of sati. And when one is not safe from these three things, then that's the, there are the occasions where the ignorance is there. So now what is done with uh, our like bhavana practice? Oh, me. Mm. So, so first uh, we are reducing or kind of suppressing the hindrances 
this by is the help of two things. So, if there is sati, the hindrances cannot work, but if the sati is not there, then you are always either <coughs> holding on to things or conflicting with things, and that's the way he, how we usually live. Mm. So what sati does, it kind of suppresses or reduces this like suppression or reduction of these hindrances or defilements, then anupassana or contemplation or observing in this special way burns those uh, defilements away, like okay. burns them completely. Oh, okay. So may you be protect may the triple be a protection for us. Yeah. Thanks for listening. So uh, today there won't be any light in the shrine room.